What's up everybody? I am Andrew Evilsizer, owner of Evil Fades Barbershop. I am here today to explain a little bit about my past history and introduce you to the barbershop. So I always get the question, how did I come up with the name Evil Fades? My last name is Evil Sizer. Growing up, my brothers and I always had the nickname of Evil. Fades is just a technique of a haircut and I kept with the name ever since I started at a young age. I found my passion the first time I picked up my clippers and I'd never wanted to stop cutting hair. I actually remember my first haircut I ever did at such a young age. Uh, we did it in the garage. We barely had power and mirrors around us. We were just fooling around. It all started with my friend across the street and his name is Andreas. So I met Evil when I was 12, 13 years old and I knew him a few months, maybe a year. And uh, he said he was thinking about becoming a barber, even from back then. Uh, so he had a buzzer in his garage, so I needed a cut. I told him, hey, you, you know, let me be your first experiment. So my hair was a lot longer than it is now. And he's like, what do you want? I'm like, do you have any clips? And he didn't have any clips. So he just did one bald stripe right down the middle. and. I've been getting an evil fade skin ever since. Uh, it's been like 15 years. I'm still coming here for cuts, so. He's picked his dream, he stuck with it, and he's killing it. He's the king of the game. It all started from the garage when I was about 12 years old. I kept cutting, kept building the name stronger, built the brand more, kind of built that very strong to the point to where I couldn't grow anymore in my garage. I had maybe 60, 70 people a week coming into the garage, families, kids. You know, it was a great atmosphere in the in the garage, and I wanted to turn that into one big place, you know, where I could have barbers behind me working and taking care of the extra clients that I couldn't get in and fill their book up even if they had clients or not. It's great to see some of my clients come in and I could hand them to one of my master barbers and provide them with a great haircut still and continue to have them come and continue the service. I've known Andrew Evilsizer for about 15 years now. He started cutting my hair back in the days where he was out of his garage. Um, it's nice to see that all of the hard work that he's put in has finally transferred into him opening up his own barbershop. I knew from the start that Andrew was gonna be very successful just because of all the hard work he puts in. In addition, all of his barbers here, the service is excellent. He offers the best haircuts that I've seen around and that is why I drive over 45 minutes to come see him every two weeks now. It's just amazing how much his company has grown in one year. Everyone's gotten so close and the environment that he's created and we've all created is just unreal and unheard of. Um, as soon as you come into the shop, you feel welcome. As a manager, I can tell you that we do make a lasting impression on all of our clients. All new clients that come in always wind up coming back and they'll usually bring someone. That says a lot about Evil Fades Barbershop. It really is a blessing though, being with this company because I've never been in a company like this where you just feel so welcome. People ask me how I got into it. The thing is, hair actually kind of called my name. I kind of picked up the clippers and it kind of found each other's passion at such a young age. I never really stepped aside and said, you know, is this what I'm gonna do? It kind of told me, this is what you're gonna do. I can never stop cutting hair. I'll never picture myself not behind the chair. Thank you, Evil, for always providing me the best haircuts. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Evil. This is my passion. I'll always have barbering in my veins forever. I'm never gonna stop. I'll always experience different things in our craft. And this is Evil Faith Barbershop. <laughs>